seven pole vault drills that you can do at home and all you need is one of these. Welcome to the Pole Vault Vlog. My name is Sean Francis and here we talk everything track and field stick gymnastics. <laughs> hey, do you guys have any ideas of other weird ways to call pole vault? Leave it in the comments and if I like it, I will use it in the next one and give you credit. Kind of fun trying to think of different ways to describe pole vaulting. All right, so let's do a drill for every phase of the pole vault. If you want to follow along with all the phases, Starts in chapter three of the pole vault toolbox available at team ucom I see what you did there. Seriously, team ucom <laughs> So some preparatory work before we even get going. I would recommend putting something on the bottom, whether it is a, you know, a tennis ball or something. But if you have a, a V16, works really well. V16. So I have it as a, a three pound 74.7 flex. It's like Team Hoot's first pole. So phase one is the run. So the common issue I see is kids are running crunched over or they have a late pole drop, you know? So it drops really fast and throws them all out of wonk. So grab your PVC pipe and work on just walking tall, what it feels like to walk tall. And then you can also work on lowering your pole with a nice smooth progression because most of the time, People get to the box and they go, oh my God, I got a plant. And then they drop it really late and that's where the issue comes. So if you start walking slow and lowering your plant as you get closer to your target, it will translate over to the runway when you get there. One thing to think about is think about hitting the tip or the plug at the top of the slide of the box. Trust me, good things will happen. It will create space for you to jump into the, into the plant. If you smash into the back, there's no room to do anything anymore. So if you plant in the top, top of the slide of the slope, Base. The plant is number two of the order of operations. So there's two common issues with the plant. Either people plant late or they don't hit the plant as hard as they can with their chest and create stretch everywhere. So two drills for that. Grab your PVC and plant it into a wall or a couch. But be careful to put a pillow or something to protect the wall or your mom or your wife is gonna freak out if you put holes in the wall. I won't say that I've done that. I won't say that I've done that. <laughs> so for not having a late plant, just think I'm gonna lock my arm before I feel pressure. Lock your arm before the plug hits the back of the box. Lock your arm before the plug hits the wall or the pillow. Just make sure it's locked and then hit. Lock and then hit. The cool part about this is if you just lock your top arm, the pole will bend. You don't even need your bottom arm on the pole. So this kind of shows how important the, the top arm is. And the bottom arm's important, just not as important for like moving energy into the plane. So then the second thing with this is to find elasticity. Press up as tall as you can with your arms and feel elasticity in your chest, feel it in your arms, feel it in your armpits, just feel stretch. If we're locked out, then our hips are gonna come through in shenanigans and lower back pain is gonna happen. So if you, if you wanna talk about this open shoulder idea we've talked about, you can plant one way and if your arm's not going back, just twist a little bit and you'll find that your arm goes back even farther. So open up that shoulder just a little bit, you know, so they're not completely square, they're a little off kilter so that arm can stretch more. And you should, if you have, if you're closed off, you should feel it back here. If you wanna open it up, you should feel it all through here and your chest will get through the pole a lot better. Right after the plant, we have the takeoff. So a common issue I see here is uh, I see vaulters jumping before they finish their plant. Or you can see their hips get sucked under. You know, those are some common issues when you see that. So really all you have to do is think plant, jump, plant, jump, plant, jump, lock it, jump it, lock it, jump it. And when you do this, you create this rhythm in your head and then it kind of translates over. So create a habit, lock, jump. Be careful not to smash into your ceiling the whole time because that's what I did. Now I got popcorn crap all over the place. After the takeoff, we have the swing. So the biggest issue I see with the swing is people not finishing it. So if this is the pole, we need to close that gap. We want to close the space from your legs to your hands. So the best way to do this with the PVC pipe in your house is just put a stick or your PVC up against the wall, grab on with your top hand and lay on your back and just practice swinging and closing that gap. So here's that gap. Here's where a lot of pole vaulters feel like they're inverted, right? Because their feet are high, but we want our hips to be above our shoulders. We want not a line here, but we want a line here. Shoulders to hips to be inverted. We want our toes to point back through the hula hoop. Pretend there's a hula hoop on top of the pole. 
and I'm shooting through the hula hoop. Now, it's not gonna necessarily develop the most strength in the world to be able to do this, but it's easy enough where you can work on what it feels like to close the gap. The biggest trick here is make sure you keep that top arm locked the whole time. You're gonna have, there's gonna be a tendency to wanna pull on that pole. Swing to your top hand. All right, I lumped the turn and the invert together because there can be some confusion on when it starts and when it doesn't. The common issue I see is the turn is late, you know, which will make you go over the bar backwards. Or during the invert, we're pulling on the pole, which doesn't allow your hips to rotate up. So here is what I would recommend. Really, it's just the top arm. You just have to sit down in the pull-up position and then just lean back. Top arm, pull on the opposite side of your top arm. Grab the pole, bottom arm, just grab on. And all you gotta do is lean back. Look at that, I'm inverted. Look, and it's exactly like I was talking about with picking up for groceries. You know that grocery video I made um, in the review a couple days ago? I also put it as a reel on my Instagram, picking up your groceries. This is exactly what we're talking about. And because the turn and the invert work so closely together, you can throw a little turn in here too, and it helps get the feeling of inverting and turning at the same time. Good. now I'm turned. If I lean back here and the pole starts to recoil, I'm going over the bar backwards. Now if I throw that quarter turn in there, Ooh, now all I have to do is turn another quarter turn to start throwing that pipe. Right hand, right quad. And then when you do go to turn, it's not a 180, it's just a 90. It's just a 90 degree turn or a quarter turn. So put your right hand on your right quad and imagine shooting through the hula hoop. Number six is inverting with the pull through. Now the biggest issue I see here is once, if we can lock it down, we don't stay tight to the pole anymore. Our arms get off our body, and then, as we know, the farther we get off the pole, the more energy we lose. The closer we are to the pole, the more energy we keep into the pole. So allow that bottom arm to come into your chin, and then pull the pole straight through your body. If we start pulling sideways, now we're like this on the pole. We're, call, we're flagging. Pull straight up and down, and we're gonna shoot off to the side like a flag. But if we pull straight through our body, we're going straight up the pole. Kind of looks like me. Last but not least, we have the pike. So I like to use the PVC as like a crossbar and just see how high I can go over it. It's kind of fun. And then my wife knows what I was doing when she sees it set up in her basement. I actually broke my new um, basement record because I've never done it down there. So I have a new PR. After all of that, you now have an $8 PVC pipe at your house and wash and repeat. Just do it over and over again because as with most things, they say practice makes perfect, but practice makes improvement. So as you do it more, you'll improve. And as these um, behaviors and movements become ingrained into your brain and become a habit, when you go onto the track, they'll just come naturally because you already have that groove in your brain to fall into. Not bad for an $8 PVC pipe, huh? totally worth it. Everybody should have one. Guys, I hope this helps a little bit. I'll get back to reviews next week. I just thought this was really important being like halfway through the outdoor season and we'll give you a couple more tools for your toolbox. If you want to support me and help your pole vaulting journey, uh, head over to team shootcom grab a copy of this book, maybe a training program and the video course. If you like these videos, you're going to love the video course. That's all I can say. And guys, remember, there's more than one way to pole vault and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, how does it feel to be a pole vaulter, kind of? Big pole. Yeah. To watch out for someone Yep, I hit the sign a few times. And no one looks both ways before they talk. No. <laughs> oh my god, I almost died with that clock.